Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Kleena here and today I'm going to be taking you through the solutions to question 7 from the 2022 higher level paper. And this question is based on indices. So let's get started. So in question A we're told that Amy and Joe are asked to pick values for the numbers P, Q and R so that the following is true for all of A. So it's a to the power of p multiplied by a to the power of q multiplied by a to the power of r is equal to a to the power of 12. So then we're told that Amy picked three values that were all the same. So p is equal to q is equal to r. And we're asked to write down the values of p, q and r that Amy picked. So for this question, we're going to use an indices rule. And these can be found in the log table. So I'm just going to bring us over to that now. So here on page 21 of the log tables, we have the indices and logarithms rules. So we're going to use the first one here. So that says that a to the power of p multiplied by a to the power of q is equal to the a to the power of p plus q. So I'm going to just bring that over now to our question and see how we can use that. So the rule was a to the power of p times a to the power of q is equal to a to the power of p plus q. So when the bases are the same, you can add the powers when they're multiplied together. So here we can see that it's only used for two values of a, but here in the question it's used for three values of a, but that doesn't make a difference. So that means that because we have a to the power of p, a to the power of q, a to the power of r, we can rewrite that as a to the power of p plus q plus r. And we know that that is equal to a to the power of 12. So now we have the two bases are the same. So we know that p plus q plus r is equal to 12. But we know that p and q and r all have to be the same value. So I know that if you let them all equal to 4, they can be 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. Okay, so the answer for all three of them is 4. Now, if this didn't come to your, it's straight into your head straight away, the value of 4. What you could do is give them a new name. So call P plus Q plus R. Let's call this X. Okay, so they all now are renamed as X. So they're all the same. So we have X plus X plus X. So 3X is equal to 12. So then X is equal to 12 divided by 3. So bring the 3 across and it becomes a divisor. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the three values are 4, 4, and 4. Now let's go on to the second part of question A. So now we're told that Joe picked three values that were all different. So write down three possible values of P, Q, and R that Joe might have picked. So we know that P plus Q plus R must still equal to 12 but they're all different. So there's a lot of flexibility for this question, okay? You could pick 12 plus zero plus zero, or you could pick six plus four plus two. Okay, so they'll all give you an answer of 12. So I'm going to pick the values of six plus four plus two. So P is equal to six, Q is equal to four, or is equal to 2. And for this question and the question previous to it, you're going to get 10 marks. So for A part 1 and 2, you get 10 marks. So now question B, we know we, that we're going to have to use our log tables again to find some of the rules that are going to help us for this question. So we're asked to find a value of M so that the following is true for all of B is an element of R. So we have B to the power of M multiplied by B to the power of minus 2 all over B is equal to B to the power of 10. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to use the rule that we already used. So on the top row here, we have b to the m multiplied by b to the minus 2. So we can add these together. So we get b to the power of m minus 2 on top. And that's all over just b. So we can call that b to the power of 1. And that's equal to b to the power of 10. So now we're going to use our log tables again. This time we're going to use the second rule here. So that's a to the power of p divided by a to the power of q is equal to a to the power of p minus q. So I'm just going to write that down over here. So we're going to apply that to the left hand side. So b to the power of m minus 2 divided by b to the power of 1 
can be written as b to the power of m minus 2 minus 1. That's equal to b to the power of 10. So b to the power of m minus 3 is equal to b to the power of 10. And we can see the bases are the same. Okay, so the powers must be the same also because they're equal to each other. So m minus 3 is equal to 10. m is equal to 10 plus 3 because it changes sign when it comes across here. So m is equal to 13. And this is our final answer. That's our value for m. And for this question, you're going to get 5 marks. Okay, guys, so that's all for this question. I really hope that you found this solution video helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.